The fans have gathered into the sold out grandstands of Mesa Motocross Park in Fellsmere, Florida for Monster Jam, the long game. Welcome back to the Walker Williams channel, your place to go for all the long game action. My name is Deli and joining me today is Jack. Quite the event is about to unfold as we get geared up and ready for the first competition of the night and that is, of course, racing. Ten of the best of the best in TLG have been seeded into the racing bracket. As you can see, four of those ten make up two races in round one and only two of them will take the seventh and eighth spot in the second round. You want to talk about crazy racing courses? I mean, this this lineup is stacked. This course is even crazier. It's a it's a major S curve, almost like a figure eight. It goes around the entire track. Both trucks are racing side by side the entire time. All right, here's our full-on field of trucks. Can lightning strike twice? Will Blue Thunder rise above the other competitors and grab back-to-back -back racing victories? That'll be interesting to see. And new faces emerge in the long game. Gravedigger and Blue Thunder have new faces behind the wheel, and Goldberg makes his YouTube debut. The pressure is high on those three. Can't wait to see what happens out on the track tonight. Pulling up to the line first, it is Dylan Pereira in Gravedigger out of Montreal, Canada. That black and green wrecking machine is ready to go. And his opponent, it will be Black Stallion, driven by Broken Machine 92. Both of these drivers are the best of the best in the long game, and only one will advance to the next round. This ought to be quite exciting. I can tell you, Dylan's not going to hold back on this race. He's got a lot to prove here. Off the start, my goodness, it's looking, Major my error. goodness, Black Stallion with great air on two wheels, he's down. Oh I think, no. I think he hit that turn way too hard, way too much speed going into that. Either way, Dylan Pereira and Gravedigger putting up a really nice run, even though Black Stallion isn't racing anymore. Hugging the turns quite tight too. It makes you wonder, I mean, with, with Black Stallion rolling over so early, is that going to be a sign of what's going to come later tonight in the racing competition? I mean, this, I said this is a tough course. These guys need to really throw down and really put their skills to the test. Definitely, as Dylan Pereira Gravedigger flies across the racing victory line. And now we look at the replay. What happened to Black Stallion? You could see the back of the truck just kicking up and down for the count went Broken Machine 92. Dylan Pereira Gravedigger did put up a good fight while Black Stallion was still up and going. Dylan Pereira taking the first victory of the night. As lining up, it's Dylan Kearns in Predator, the custom Panther design. And making his debut on YouTube, it's Cora Solera in Goldberg. What a cool looking truck, definitely. Absolutely. I mean, these, these two haven't really seen anything from them racing wise, I and mean, we're going to see what they're going to do uh, here tonight. Cora taking the early lead in the race. Looks like Dylan got the slight advantage into the first turn. I like that turn from Predator. Taking the lead, Predator. My goodness, look at him fly. Cora's all over the place. That's going to be a detriment here. Still, he's trying to put up a good fight. Dylan Kearns into the final turn. Goldberg just seems kind of everywhere as Dylan Kearns flies across the finish line. Goldberg is knocked out of the competition, also getting an incredible amount of air. Dylan Kearns, Predator, taking the second victory of the racing competition. There were errors everywhere for Goldberg in that last race. I wonder what happened. I think what was going on, I mean, it's, it's really tough to get through these turns and hit these big jumps. You've got to really try and avoid all the obstacles. Kearns just had a bunch of great turns. Making his first appearance of the night, going up against Gravedigger, it's Jack Meredith, Mr. Destruction, the 1941 Willie's Body. Both of these drivers are incredibly talented, but only one will advance to the next round of racing. It's the Black and Green Wrecking Machine versus Mr. Destruction. Here we go. Gets him off the line big time. I mean, Jack's been out of this one for a long oh. time. I think he's got to have to get used to racing again. Gravedigger, Mr. Destruction. It is a battle for the ages. It looks like Mr. Destruction has got the slight advantage into that next set of cars flying through the air. Gravedigger's got quite a bit of ground to make up here. Loses it a bit on that little hill there and in that turn. Oh my goodness, into the final turn. Oh, this is going to be it right here. Hold your breath here. Across the finish line. It's close. Ooh, who was it? I think, I think it was Gravedigger. I think it was bad by a tire, but I mean, that was... That was a close one. That was probably the closest race of the entire season right there. My goodness, what a performance by both drivers across the finish line. There you see it there, right look at that. there. Dylan Pereira, Gravedigger, taking the victory over Mr. Destruction. Already at the starting line, it is Sean EXE Bulldozer, that custom concept. And making his first appearance of the night, it is Trevor Alston in the Blue Thunder, that 2001 Ford F250. This ought to be quite an interesting race, to tell you the truth. 
Alston's got a lot to prove. I mean, he's hot off the heels of his Seattle racing win. We'll see what he does against Bulldozer. Bulldozer got off the, uh, got off the line. Blue Thunder, Trevor Alston Whoa. trying to get, oh my goodness. That was and look detrimental. Oh, Bulldozer's no! over. Bulldozer's, Bulldozer's over. down. He's back. Blue Thunder taking the lead. Bulldozer's back. He's trying to make a comeback. I don't know if he can catch up, though. I think this one's over. Well, definitely. Trevor Alston trying. He's definitely keeping up a good lead. There's Bulldozer oh. into the wall. Ouch. That's got to hurt. Huge air for Trevor Alston and Blue Thunder taking the victory. This is looking good for Trevor Alston. Hot off the Seattle is. Racing victory. Blue Thunder's on fire. Lost it a little bit in that one turn, but man, he was huge as smooth as silk on those last few. And Bulldozer, a bad break, lost steering, I think. Definitely broke something on that truck on that first roll. Making his first appearance of the night, it's developed Terran El Toro Loco, the custom bull concept. Only one year in competition, but he's definitely proved his worth. He's going up against Dylan Kearns and Predator, who definitely proved his worth earlier tonight in the racing competition. My goodness, these two are off to a great start. I think Develop's going to have his hands full right here. Predator's going to hit these turns better than anybody else here tonight. He's got a lot of control with this truck. I'm looking forward to see how this is going to end. Definitely. El Toro Loco's got quite a bit of ground to make up just getting over the first set of cars around the final turn. Dylan's got a quite an impressive lead. Whoa, look oh, look out. Oh, no. Oh, it's, it's over. He got he it. Lost he it. saved it. He, he saved it, but he lost it. It's going to be Terran winning this one. Oh, no. What a tough break. breakthrough. Oh, El Toro look Loco's out, on two out. wheels. Can he save it? No. Oh, my gosh. What an ending. The bull goes down. Wow. I mean, the, the drama here, it's so, you can cut it with a knife. I mean, look at this. He gets on two wheels in that final turn. We thought he had the race. Terran wins the race. He rolls it over in the end. I mean, this is just this is just crazy. Probably the biggest wow factor was Dylan riding a wheelie into the pits. That was pretty impressive. He's always showing that horsepower. Walk on the wild side for sure. Sudden impact, Tim Clapper, nine years in competition. This is a vet you've got here, going up against Danny Werwolf in the Executioner. This guy is the series points leader. Four years in competition, only one of these guys will advance to the next race. So I'm pretty even so far, I'm liking the odds. This is a pretty interesting looking race so far. Looks like Executioner's got the slight lead. So the execution is keeping real tight. He's like Predator in a lot of ways. When he hits those turns, he keeps it under control real easily. Sudden impact, trying to make up the ground. Executioner still in the lead into the final turn. Man, he's just flying through this course. He's going to be flying across the finish line right here. My goodness, sudden impact taking the L that last race. Nice little wheelie to boot, though. Still, both these drivers did give it their all. Sudden impact seeming to have slowed down. In the first turn alone, which is what basically gave Executioner the victory, Danny Werwolf will be moving on to the next race. We are now down to the final two races of the night. Mr. Destruction versus Blue Thunder and El Toro Loco versus Executioner. Only two of these drivers will advance to the final race of the night. I can't wait to see who it will be. I mean, we got a lot of heavy hitters here coming into the semifinals. Mr. Destruction coming to replace Gravedigger who can't make it back due to mechanical problems. So for El Toro Loco and Mr. Destruction, luck is definitely on their side. Jack Meredith, Mr. Destruction, Trevor Alston, Blue Thunder. Only one of these drivers will advance to the final race of the night. Across the air, it's gonna look like Mr. Destruction, but into the first turn, problems ensue. Blue Thunder on two wheels, taking the lead. Mr. Destruction a little, how you could say, off center off of that racing roller. I mean, it's something we've been seeing a lot. They're having trouble keeping it together. And oh! uh, this is Blue Thunder's race right here. Blue Thunder's race. Trevor Alston, Blue Thunder, seeming to take the victory, oh, going sideways, slamming into the wall. Are you oh, kidding me? Gosh. A backflip crash, a I, pirouette I of some shocked. sorts. Oh, no. And I don't think he got the front tires on the jump. We're going to see in the replay again. Oh, my goodness. That was a terrifying crash. It seemed off the start, Mr. Destruction did have the advantage over Trevor Alston and Blue Thunder. Hey, I knew, I knew this would be a wild racing lineup and wild racing night, but it's gone way past my expectations. I mean, this is a horrible landing. There's no suspension going forward like that. My goodness. A horrifying crash for Trevor Alston and Blue Thunder. We're going to have to see if he's okay after this. 
Mr. Destruction will be moving on, though. He's been declared the winner as we move on to our final semifinals race. El Toro Loco Executioner. This ought to be quite interesting. Terran and oh, Werewolf. A... Oh, no! Just El like Toro Black Loco Stallion. down. Just like Black Ouch. Stallion. Too much power in that turn. Executioner almost lost it there, too. But Danny Werewolf's moving on to the finals. El Toro Loco down for the count after the truck just seemed to have kicked up and flipped over. Danny Werewolf Executioner basically taking the track like it's nothing. He's probably the best racer out here so far if he's had these much clean passes. Yeah, like, like what I was saying before, I mean, just kicking that rear steer too much too soon and that turn got all that speed going on. Plus, I have nowhere to go but over. Danny Werewolf Executioner taking the victory. He will be moving on to the final race. And our collision decision of the night, you just saw it easily. Trevor Alston and Blue Thunder going end over end every single way but the uh, right way. And our jammer question, who was the only truck to crash twice in racing? Comment below, might get some cool prizes or most likely a shout out in the next video. But man, I mean, the cr crash never ends, does it? <laughs> no, it really doesn't. <laughs> My goodness, I still can't get over that. Mr. Destruction, I mean, I said earlier he's got a lot of lucky chances. He's really gotten lucky gotten into this race. I mean, it's mainly to, uh, due to breakage and the driver error. Jack Meredith's got a lot to prove here against Executioner. He's been pretty perfect all night. Danny Werwolf, the 1997 Chevy Silverado. This guy has been absolutely insane this entire night. Jack Meredith's going to have to pull something absolutely crazy to get the victory here. Well, you never know. We've seen a lot of surprises. I thought Predator would make it here, but, I mean, we've seen a lot of errors you know, uh, well, yeah, I mean, how definitely. El, Toro, El Toro Loco make it to the finals, same same reason. Ooh, it looks like Mr. Destruction got him off the line. Well, look out. Oh my goodness, Mr. Destruction gets in the way. Mr. Destruction flying off course. Oh, oh a... no, ouch. Oh my gosh. Oh, my god, this, this is crash. This is a who's who of the crash madness of the award of the year in this racing competition. I mean, this is just insane. Execution's gonna win, and I mean, a huge win. I mean, managed to survive the whole entire night. That just had to be pure luck right there. As you can see on the replay, Mr. Destruction did get the advantage off of the start. Jack Meredith definitely showing Executioner what he's got, even going out of his way to block Executioner. But here is where things went wrong. Mr. Destruction got a little cattywampus on that car ramp. And of course, end over end, Mr. Destruction goes, and Danny Robolf Executioner taking the victory of the racing competition as well as over Mr. Destruction. And it, it was a great night. I mean, it, it was a lot of survival going on, but I think these guys really proved themselves tonight in terms of skill. Ten of the best of the best in the long game have raced, but that is not all. Freestyle is to come. Now comes the jam.